Water is as essential to human life as the air we breathe, yet now becoming scarce as evidenced at the drought-stricken Lake Mead in southern Nevada. Currently at less than a third of its capacity, Lake Mead not only provides drinking water for Las Vegas and the surrounding communities, but also electrical power for Nevada, Arizona, and California. Unless corrective action is taken, by the year 2021, Lake Mead's water levels will have reached a point at which Hoover Dam's hydroelectric turbines will be incapable of functioning. Anticipating such an event, a $1.5 billion drain was built in 2010 under the center of Lake Mead to access every drop of remaining water from the lake, ultimately leaving behind only a toxic marshland of rotting ecology and plastic refuse with no viable future source of water and energy. Barring humanity's departure from planet Earth, there is only one solution to correct this man-made catastrophe and refill Lake Mead. The name of that solution is the Little Pacific Project. The Little Pacific Project is a massive ocean water reservoir that will be built in Death Valley, 75 miles in length between Furnace Creek and Baker, California. The uninhabited terrain will be excavated and dug to a bottom level of 1,000 feet and then filled with ocean water via a 177-mile subterranean gravity flow aqueduct from the California coast to Furnace Creek, filling what will be known as the Little Pacific Ocean. A pumping station south of Furnace Creek will ferry the water via a second subterranean pipeline, 120 miles in length, to a desalination plant at Overton, Nevada, where the ocean water will be desalted, released into Lake Mead, and returning Lake Mead to its full levels, 1,229 feet, a level not seen since 1983. Wildlife sanctuaries will be established and protected at the northern end of the Little Pacific, and funding for this project will be paid in part by tourism and visitor fees. The majority of the laborers for this project will be provided by select workers drawn from the 2.1 million persons currently residing in state and federal prisons, whom, upon successful completion of the Little Pacific Project, will be exonerated of their crimes and released from custody. But the initiating force and primary funding for the Little Pacific Project falls to the White House and the leadership of the states of Arizona, California, and Nevada. Only immediate action can prevent this eminent disaster. Unlike the Las Vegas to Los Angeles high-speed rail that was never built, the Little Pacific Project must be implemented, for it is truly a matter of life and death. You can help by sharing this video on social media 